Just riding along over here through the city. You boys know NT. What's up, y'all? What is up, y'all? Hello, everybody. Grace Dooblazer. We're back with more Railway Empire. So our Railway Empire groweth because we are bringing beer and steak to all of the beautiful people of the United States of America. And we are actually bringing people beer and steak, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we've got, like, beer being made over here in NP. Yep, we sure do. I don't know. Is that cloth? I think that's cloth. I'm starting to learn all the different resources. There's, like, a ton of them, too. We got uh, salt down here. We've got... I thought this was, like, bamboo at first. It's sugar cane. <laughs> we got cattle. We got cotton. We got corn. We got all kinds of stuff. So today... What I want to focus on is completing some tasks that we have to do. The other thing I want to show you, I didn't really do this much of it the last time we played. This camera function is really cool. Like, you could get down very low and check out all the sweet scenery. And the scenery is really sweet in this game. See all the different carriages moving around with the horses and stuff like that. See all the smoke billowing from the different chimneys and things like that as the trains pile in. All the steam's flying off. You can look over the Great Plains. Looking friggin' sweet. Big pastures, clouds in the sky, puppy white clouds, but crystal blue skies. It is a fantastic day to make a million dollars. Oh, we got a train right over here. There we go. Smoke piling on down. Money is being made big time. Oh, what do I got going on over here? Got some kind of breakdown. I feel like I should have enough maintenance tower or supply towers. I may not have enough maintenance sheds everywhere. I've got maintenance sheds, I'm pretty sure, in all of the major cities. It's possible that, like, in one of these satellite areas, we don't have a maintenance shed. Like, we don't have one over there. Uh, and we don't have one over here. I guess we could put one into one of these. Because it's kind of a long... Like, it doesn't look very long, but it's very deceptive. Like, this is hundreds of miles of track, man. So... Yeah, let's put, um, let's put one over here. 80 grand, well spent. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Put it at Brown Preserve. Uh, let's check the other side over here and make sure that we have the appropriate, yeah, there's one there. That's a cornfield right there. Milk. Okay, there's, there's actually a lot of stuff. Cattle, there's stuff all over this main stretch of railway that we made. Gray still wastes over here. I'm surprised that I did things so efficiently. Oh, down here. There's one. We can make one down here as well, and I think I will go ahead and do that. One thing I like about these little places is once the train rolls in, it magically turns around with the power of science. The train will load up lots and lots of delicious corn and then flip-flop itself over. So, yep, right there. So that it can go to town. So, let's check out the task list and see what we have to do next. We have connect... All right, so we did that, we did that. 16 loads of cattle to Denver. That shouldn't be a big problem. We got 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. Connect 150,000 people. This is going to happen organically as long as we keep expanding our different cities. So as long as we keep providing them with stuff that they want. Population of 30,000 Cheyenne. So we're going to want to do that because that's going to tie in with this. And then connect Omaha and Rock Springs. So we're probably going to be burrowing through the side of a friggin' mountain. And then transport 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs. So everything is related to, to Cheyenne right now. Like, almost everything. Let us go over to Cheyenne. Oh, and by the way, we got a bunch of cities here that are upgrading. You know, air quotes. We got a level 3 city over here. I think that Cheyenne is probably level 1. And that's why we need to get... Yeah. So this little ticker over here shows us that it's level 1. What does it need? Let us click on it and find out. Over here, we're supplying 59% of its overall demand. So we're going to have to get that way up. Uh, wants a little bit of grain... Ah, okay, so it wants corn. We're not providing any. Uh, we got the wood, we got the meat, and it wants beer, and we're not providing any of that, too. So, we may have a... There may be a way to do this. Kind of easy. Uh, because we have uh, NP over here making beer, and I'm pretty sure they have a huge amount of beer that they're making. Let's go check these guys out. They're still growing, by the way. Uh, yeah. They are... They're producing a lot of beer, man. Uh, there's a decent stock of beer in the city. Demand in all seas, 7.5. So, they gotta start moving beer out. That's totally fine. We're gonna get beer over to Cheyenne from NP. And then over here, there's a, uh, there's a corn farm sitting right over here. We have a corn farm that's already connected, but it's way over here. Why don't we connect this corn farm and build a new train? We're gonna have a new rail line and have it go from Cheyenne to north, uh, to NP, back to Cheyenne, and then from Cheyenne to the cornfield. And then back to Cheyenne. I think that's the only, that's probably the only route that I'm going to use for that train. 
Should be pretty efficient, though. There's also an iron field right over here. Actually, there's a lot of stuff right over here. So we could we could potentially supply a lot of stuff to Cheyenne. I don't think that it wants iron quite yet. Because I don't think that we're there in the grand scheme of, like, what's that important to the townspeople. All right. Let's go ahead and build another station over here. Where's my cornfield at? Right over here. Right over by the illustrious cornfields. Uh, we're going to go building construction, small train station, and we just got to get it inside of the circle of power. Inside the circle of power. Now, the cool thing is... Right about there. The cool thing is, is that the fields will magically move to the side. <laughs> so it's like no big deal. All right. So we got to connect the track. And we're going to have to make a switch here too. I'm like 99% sure that we're going to have to make a... Yeah, we're going to have to make a switch here for sure. So let's go ahead and do that. Build it right over here. And then let's see. Drag it up into here. Like that. Yeah, that should do it. Here we go. And that should connect us... To the tracks. Whoa. Hi there. Union Pacific Railroad Extends Network. Nine stations currently connected. Yes. The railroad company recently built a new train station and has consequently connected yet another region to its rail network. Chief Executive Gray Still Waste stated that his railroad company's road expansion was also going to continue unabated in the future. Quote. There are plenty of people and cattle who aren't... We, we had to specify the cattle portion. That aren't hooked up to our network yet who deserve nothing less than the best. End quotes. Recommended cod oil, everyone. Make sure to drink your delicious cod oil. Struck by lightning! Shoeshine boy Willie Rotstein was struck by lightning during severe storms. <laughs> Weather experts say stuff like this could happen. But for Willie, this is only the second time this year. Both time he was using the toilet in the garden. Baking soda bucks? All right, man. I'll, I'll be reading this all day. There's some really random stuff that's over here. All right. Let's see if we can build. Uh, let's do... Let's do a new... Oh, we already have a new rail line. Let's do a new rail line. Set up the rail line. We're going to go from Ward to... Hold on now. Cheyenne to NP to Cheyenne back to Ward. And that'll be its little thing. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, we do need a locomotive over here. So, let's go ahead and buy one. The Philadelphia is still as glorious as always, I guess. I don't know. It's the only one we have right now. I don't think that we can click on these quite yet. We do have rail cars over here. Dining car for ticket revenue. Freight revenue for food. Or a mail car. I kind of want to add this. Because, let's see. All tours, waiting time 100% last room. Because it, it's corn, right? I mean, it's food. And beer is food, right? To me, that seems like food. Let's go ahead and freaking do it, baby. Buy it. Back. Let's go over here and select our train. Which I think is prepared. Oh, it is. Yes. Look at it go. So it should be moving over. Yep, it's moving to Cheyenne. And it has an absolute freaking stack of corn. What's going on over here? Got a random breakdown going on. I don't know why. We've got a lot of train stations that have the maintenance sheds on them. We do have supply towers. Maybe our supply, maybe we don't have enough. Maybe we should start thinking about putting even more supply towers down. I don't know. Let's go, uh, let's go back over to our, uh, to our train, though, and watch the glory. Just riding along over here through the city, you boys know. And T, what's up, y'all? What is up, y'all? Man, you can see all their different, uh, all their different luggage is waiting there. They're waiting to go ahead and go on off. They got beautiful gardens and stuff in the backyard. And here we are, lightning striking on the planes. Let's go on over to this side. See that lightning over there? Yes! Lightning striking the planes. Beautiful trees looking on overhead. The birds flying by. And pretty soon, we're going to arrive over at Cheyenne and gift the people with delicious corn. Now, once we get done with that, what is our next task? Uh, oh, this is going up pretty quick. Look at this. 150,000. We're almost there, man. 16 loads of cattle to Denver. Okay. Uh, Denver looming way down here. Do we have a cattle farm on this side? Uh, we do. We have a cattle farm over here. There's a whole freaking slew of stuff up here. But I think that the closest cattle farm is this one over here. So this actually shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, all we really need to do... Actually... I wonder if we can get... What happens from Cheyenne to Denver, I wonder? Because if we can move it into this route, maybe we can go into a giant circle 
end up at the cattle farm, and then end up at Denver. Okay. Denver wants a lot of stuff, man. They want beer. They want cattle. They want wood. They're not getting any of it. So we're going to have to think about this. So they want cattle. They want wood. And they want beer. What is the best way I can manipulate this to make this work? All right. I think I know what I'm going to do. We're going to make another specific railway just for this trip over here. We're going to go from Denver to the cattle. Uh, that'll provide them with... Ca How do I want to do this? Do I want to go around this way? Yeah. We're going to... I may even connect this one over here. Why not? We could... Oh, we got a connection bonus. Okay. Hi. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll take it. Do it. Oh, we have to do it to get the connection bonus. Okay. So that's something we can look forward to in the in the future over here. I could just connect these two. They're like right over here by Denver. Actually, there's a lot over here by Denver. You know what? Screw it. Let's do that. We'll just make a train, another train route. And we'll just go over here for right now. Over here. By the cattle. Can I get both these? No. There's no way. Um, hold on. Oh, if you build a big train station, you can get both of them. Ooh. Do we care about that yet? Is that super important? Do we need sugar right now? We pretty much don't. Get more tracks that way right off that. Let's just do the small station. We'll just do the small station for right now. If I want to expand, we can always just knock this down at some point. And then put a new one in there, which will be fine. So let's go and put that down. Kelly Ranch is getting ready over here. We're going to go ahead and connect this. Oh, we just completed a task. What did we complete? Oh, 150,000. Okay, cool. And the population of Cheyenne is just skyrocketing up. So that's going to be friggin' awesome. Let's go grab the track construction over here. Tracks. Gray's laying down tracks. I told you, man, it is deceptive. Like, you don't think it's that far? 114 freaking miles right there. 114 miles! Go ahead and connect her on up. Uh! Right up in there! I'll scratch your back if... Cattle gesture. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Let's go ahead and connect a new train over here. We're gonna get this thing freaking going. Supplying cattle over to Denver. Actually, we'll be able to supply cattle over to a lot more than Denver if we want to. Oh, yeah. Cheyenne is going, growing big time. This is odd, though. It's not showing any money. I just made 18 grand with that last stop. All that we did was move from, uh, from NP over to Cheyenne. They dropped off a bunch of people and mail and beer and all kinds of stuff. We made a ton of money, but it's not showing up. I'm not gonna worry about it. Our cash is still growing just fine, so I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not fretting or anything like that. All right, let's connect this up and stop worrying about our cash flow. All right, boys. Cattle's being loaded. That is a lot of cattle. Hold on. I need to, I need to see something real quick. I gotta see something real quick. It's right along over here. Can we go to the back? Can we see all the cows and stuff? Yes! Look, they're all hanging out inside, man. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I was just curious if we could see all the cows. Okay, cattle's going to Denver. Now, is this one, is this like one unit of cattle? Once this gets there, how will that, how will that count in the grand scheme of things? Let's go speed up game time just a little bit over here. As our locomotive trucks on by, dispersing cattle to the beautiful people of Denver. How do you guys feel about that? How do you feel about it? Yes, enjoy your cattle. Enjoy it big time. 16 grand for that. Very happy about it. Very happy about it. We'll go ahead and slow things back down over here. Over to the task menu. We've got 8 of 16. Okay, so that's going to get done super fast. Um, like super fast. Besides the... Do you guys even want cattle? Do you even care about this? Um, they do. They have a, they have a, a demand for it, so that's fine. We just kind of have to deal with the rest of the stuff over here. Like the, uh, the grain and, and whatnot. And that's fine, because again... We have a, a little grain area right over here that we can connect. We can just put it on the same track like it's no big deal. Eventually, we're going to end up almost connecting this whole bottom portion over here. Because if you remember, we have another cornfield way over there. It's a big distance, but uh, I'm all about it, man. All right. One thing that we don't have over here is we don't have any supply towers. So I should probably do that, like big time. Let's go over to building construction over supply tower. Let's put, um, put one here. And then we'll put, like, one right about in the middle of this. Right about there. Okay. Now, e neither of these have maintenance sheds right now. So I may want to even go ahead and extend uh, one of these into a maintenance shed. Let's uh, let's take a look. Can I click on you real quick? There we go. Construct maintenance building. 80 grand. Yeah, I'm spending money like crazy over here. That's the way it goes, little baby. All right. So now we have the granary mixed up over here. We can connect it to this right over here. It's already making $15,000, which I'm pretty happy about. So we're going to go from Denver over to the farm, back to Denver. 
and then from Denver to Kelly Ranch. Okay, that's how that's gonna go. Bam. Over here are railways making big bucks. The Ward Manor Railway is our big money winner right now. How crazy is that? Cheyenne is still exploding right now in growth, which makes me very, very, very happy. Very happy. Yes, bring the money in. Our predecessor will be proud. NP going crazy over here. Well done. The citizens of Denver are impressed by the railway. Right over here. 16 loads of cattle over to Denver. So now, if anyone else has any need of cattle, especially Cheyenne over here. Cheyenne, do you care about cattle? Are you at all interested in the cattle trade? There is no demand for cattle. Uh, how about you guys? You guys have any interest in cattle? You want them? No demand in cattle. Okay, so the only people that want cattle is Denver. Literally, the only people. No one else cares. How about way over here? Do you, what is this over here? Same warehouses. Warehouses can receive and dispatch goods. This means you can also build central good depots. Oh! Oh, yes, one more thing. Your company has a research department to help you unlock new locomotives. Open the research dialogue to find out more about it. Okay. Research. Tell me all about it, baby. Here you'll find the advances that can be achieved in the current era. Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. Okay, so we get 200 points right now. Oh, we can get... Can we get a new locomotive? There's our Philadelphia. Ooh! Slightly faster. It has more attractive power. A special type of axle suspension on this locomotive offers an advantage. That the drive wheels can also be steered. Combining a high driving force with good performance, or... This is right over here. Three more innovations. Okay, so we can get this one, or we can get a caboose. Okay, bonuses for all employees by 20%. Um, I feel like, hi, Stevens Manor got in touch with you. As their rural business is currently experiencing difficulties, the family is looking for an investor. Would you like to take over the business? Uh, what is this? It's a cotton farm? Not right now. We're kind of, we're kind of low on funds at the moment. Uh, don't get me sidetracked. All right. So back over here. Yes. Let us buy a new locomotive. I feel like I want, what is this over here? Express trains. We're buying the new train. I don't care. I want it. It's called a dragon for God's sakes. We got to friggin' have it. Boom. Brand new train, baby. Super happy about it too. All right. The new train is ours. We're looking good. We've got a random breakdown going on over here right after the supply tower. What are you guys doing? Like I said, you should be greased and freaking ready to go. Some bull crap going on over here. All right. Right over here. Just looming around, watching as delicious grain is fed into our train so that it can go ahead over to the lovely lands of Denver. I think, I think once it gets there. Oh, we got another breakdown. Man. Maybe I will build a uh, maintenance shed over here. Maybe I should build a maintenance shed. You know what? 80 grand. Doing it. Maintenance shed. Not having this crap go on anymore. New task. Just got done. Ah. Uh, Cheyenne probably just got 30,000 people. Now, they haven't had their grain fulfilled until just now. So I think in a second over here, Denver should continue to grow. I'm pretty sure. Let's go find out. I've got things fast forwarded just a little bit. Let's go ahead and wind on down here. As it rolls on in. There we go. All the horses are looking active and dapper. Stuff flying off over here. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the green arrow I want to see. Give me my money. Give me my money. 16 grand. Right there. 16,000. Where my train list at? Yes. Good. Doesn't look like it's making that much money, but I don't know. That may be deceptive. That may be deceptive because sometimes the money takes a little while to, to line on up. Back over to the task menu, boys. Connect Omaha and Rock Springs. You got it. Omaha and Rock Springs. All right, Rock Springs. You are in the middle of friggin' nowhere, aren't you? You are in the middle of the giant mountainous areas. Uh, this is probably going to be pretty hard. Because, like I said, we are going to have to dig straight through the heart of Sadtown in order to do this. Uh, Omaha. Isn't Omaha like way? Yep, it's way over here. That's fantastic. Okay. Well, this is the closest rail area. So, let's loom on down over here. Let us build a station as we often do uh small train station we're gonna build it right in the heart over here i want to point it right about like maybe like that right about like that perhaps right there boom all right right in the heart now what does it cost 
to get this train track done with all the insanity that we're probably gonna oh maybe it's not that bad hold on here hold on here maybe we, maybe we can do this maybe we can do this like it's no big deal oh we totally got it we totally got it with no tunnels or anything i feel bad but the tunnels are a lot of money <laughs> look at this you can make a tunnel and a bridge but man it'll freaking cost you it, you know what? I want to make one just because I think it's cool. I'm a bad person. All right, there's something I want you guys to know. I'm, I'm called Gray Still Wastes for a reason. I straight up did this because I think it's cool. That's the only reason we're doing this. We, we get everything with this. We get bridges. We get tunnels. We get big bridges. We get all kinds of stuff, man. It's $410,000. I, th I think I could do this for like 200 grand if I just went straight and didn't do all this craziness. But screw it. I want to do it. We're friggin' doing it. I don't care. We're doing it. Task completed. Now we got to transport 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. Got it. Let's get her done. All right. I know you guys are going to cringe at how I did this, but it looks sweet. I mean, like I said, it's it's for me, it's more about appearance than uh, we can make more money. All right. So we're going to use the dragon over here because it's more powerful. Then all the other- Now there's just some different real cars that we can have. We can have... Let's see over here. Mail, refrigerator... Dining car for ticket revenue. That sounds good. Let's do that. Let's do that right there. Buy the locomotive. Right here. Use it. We're doing it. Alright, here's our boys. Oh, we gotta watch this. We gotta watch it. Hold on. Yes! Now there's all kinds of bridges and stuff that got built over here. Let's see what our- Let's see what this way is like, though. I wanted to check this out over here. Very mountainous area. Like I said, we could have speared straight through the heart of it, but that's just not cool enough, man. We gotta, we gotta have some fun. Yes. Now, is this train powerful enough to bring us up this incline? Come on, baby. Uh oh. Oh, 19 miles an hour. 17 miles. Come on, baby. Come on. Chugga chugga. 15. We got it. We got it right there. There we go. Now through the tunnel, looking friggin' sweet. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yes. All right, cool. Not a huge tunnel, but again, the tunnels are, like, really, really, really expensive. Uh, like, with our current money, it's really expensive, okay? Got another bridge. Little bridge that we just went over over there. What else is there? Is there anything else? I think that that's, I think that that's pretty much it for the most part. Yeah, we're losing money. I'll freaking bet for right now. But like I said, I just want to get the passengers moving along. They are moving, they're exporting beer over here as well. And a little bit of mail. So, I mean, that's fine. We're getting some other, some other resources and stuff moved on over here. Now, will there be any level of money for this? I don't know. I really don't know what Rock Springs can bring to the rest of the world either. It doesn't really look like they're creating anything per se. Move things along and check this out. All right, in comes the cart. Everyone gets dropped off. Money, money, money. There you go. And 21,000. Okay. 21,000 for that. Hey! New record! The dragon hits 35 miles an hour. Yesterday, Railroad Company Union Pacific Railroad's locomotive sets a new record speed. The train was traveling on one of the main connecting lines. The trailblazing record was then toasted with beer and whiskey. Yes. We eagerly await uh, when the next record is going to be set slowly being questioned just how much faster a locomotive like this can go and where progress is going to lead us one day. The stupidest burglar ever. Flying guillotines! <laughs> Was changed to use a deadly weapon called the flying guillotine. Mother of God! Got the superstar freak stro over here. Alright. We're doing it. We're freaking doing it. We are bringing a ton of mail back over. Again. Is it, uh, is it operating at a loss? Yeah. But... Like I said, man, look at this. We even got crossovers over here, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so Cheyenne's doing really good. Let's check our tasks out over here. We need 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs. So right now we're at 35. Let's see how let's see how quickly and how far we can get things going on over here. Go across our sad little overpass. Doing good. Drop off all this various uh, luggage and stuff. There we go. 33000 for that. Hey, 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 That's what I'm talking about. We got some service going on like it's no big deal. More beer and passengers being loaded up over here. Hey, we just got some more research too. Ooh, we got missing equipment. You know what I didn't do? 
we need to put some uh, stations down over here. Let's go ahead and slow things down real quick. Let's go over to building construction. Supply tower. Put supply tower down over here. And we will put another supply tower down over here. Here we go. So that should get that all set up. Yeah, you can see they are very, very sad right now. Everyone is uh, everyone is is crying in desperate need of some sort of locomotive fixing going on over here. Do I have a? We don't. I was gonna say, if this hasn't been upgraded yet, let's throw down a maintenance building. Hey, guess who's turning a profit now? Forty-seven grand on that locomotive over there. The dragon's killing it, baby. You can also replace all of your locomotives uh, if you want to with dragons. It looks like, which is pretty sweet. Uh, or you can create a train with this locomotive. So I'm just going to kind of let our thing do as it is right now. Let me get off of this. Let our thing do as it is right now. I think we're going to need one more go. We're going to need one more thing from uh, Cheyenne over to Rock Springs. And that should complete our final task. All right, boys. Going through our tunnel over here. I think we got our last bunch of passengers. Now, can you see the passengers, I wonder? It would be cool if you could see the passengers. I don't know how close down we can get. Whistle's going nuts over here, man. Hold on, let me, uh, let me loom on down over here and see if I can see anyone specifically. I don't think so. We've got two sets of passengers this time. I think this should be our last drop-off in 1868. And that should clean everything up for the most part. All right, what do we got? Rolling on in. People are walking around in their latest finery over here. Carriages. This guy has a fantastic beard. How we doing? How we doing on the people? Oh, it's a random breakdown. It broke down right inside of town. Come on, man. Freaking maintenance sheds right there. You got like, you got like six feet to go. A little bit further. All right, let me, let me speed up to get. There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, we're right there, man. We are, there we go. The chapter was a success. You completed all the compulsory tasks in this chapter. Close the dialogue box for you to final rating. I imagine it's not fantastic. Like I said, we kind of did whatever we wanted, but sure, let's let's look at our final rating. Why not? In spite of all the challenges, oh, hi there. the Union Pacific Railroad managed to cross the endless expanses of the Great Plains and conquer the merciless slopes of the Rocky Mountains. The Central Pacific Railroad approached from the west, but the winter of 1868 brought all work to a standstill. The two lines lay just a few hundred miles across from each other, in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. The dream of the first transcontinental railroad seemed to be within touching distance, but was buried by house-high masses of snow and blown away by icy snowstorms, a dream that had begun almost four decades before. Well, crap. Uh, that said, our company value is four million. Oh, we're accounting. Okay, that's interesting. So we're like right in the middle. I'm actually kind of surprised at that considering how much money I threw all over the place. Guys, what do you think of Railway Empire? We have completed our current chapter. What challenges would await us in the future? What sort of horrible amounts of money can Gray spend indiscriminately? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.